hoping I have a good enough internet connection right here. So right when you walk in the grocery store, of course, you got your chips. You got your sugar cereal. Donuts. Get your donuts and your really, really super, super sweet coffee drinks. Then you get more donuts. And I just want to make a point that the reason that people turn to this stuff and they can't not turn to it, two reasons really. Number one is stress. And when your body is under stress, there's a thing that's called cortisol, cortisol poisoning, and your body will actually re release hormones and, and cause you to binge eat. Like, you, you can't control it. It's not controllable. If you're under a horrific amount of stress, which many of us are, it's hard not to want to satiate. <laughs> satiate. It's hard not to want to satisfy the craving. Um, and so you got to realize, like, you will turn to those things, but there is a way to avoid, um, you know, this trap, being held hostage, being victimized by uh, these high, high sugar foods. And to me, whatever goes in the body, it, it's all about nutritional demand. So to me, it doesn't matter if it's sugar cereal or if it's chips or if it's cookies or if it's fruit drink, fruit juice, it's all just sugar to the body. That's the way that I see things now. If you want to satisfy, how would I say this differently? If you want to not be held hostage by the cravings, how it's not about coming into the grocery store, seeing all this stuff, and then depriving yourself or feeling as though you're deprived. It's not about like, willpower it's not about you know I won't have it I will not have it I cannot have it that doesn't work if you haven't figured it out yet that doesn't work even deprivation in terms of I'm only going to eat a 400 calorie meal or a 500 calorie meal to what extent to what degree is that meal uh, nutritionally sound to what degree is it is it filling nutritional needs so deprivation isn't the answer and that's why people yo-yo diet and they rebound 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 but i feel bad for people because i feel like people are beating themselves up they know they're beating themselves up and they feel guilty and they feel shame and they feel frustrated they feel hopeless and they keep turning to the same things and it's a compounding vicious cycle because the stress from not being enough and not showing up and and feeling like they're falling short causes them to do more of what they don't want to do, which brings about the outcome that isn't desired. So with all that said, what is the answer? Well, ER Shred, we've uncovered the answer. The answer is satiation. Satiation meaning you've got to feed the body the right things. And you've got to give the body nutritional abundance and satisfy the body. Um, think about nutritional quota. Think about your body, you know, has this need, this desire. If you satisfy that, guess what? You don't have those cravings anymore. How do you satisfy it? You don't satisfy that by eating a and salad. I'm sorry. You don't satisfy that by eating a bunch of fruit. That's not the way it works. Uh, foods the body's craving around satiation these are high protein foods, low carbohydrate foods, high fat foods. This is what the body wants for fuel, naturally, genetically, scientifically, historic. And I'm talking ancestral. Your body wants the right things. Give it the right things, and guess what? You suddenly find the willpower, which you never thought you had, to turn away from all the bad. Satiate with the right things. Eat enough, eat a lot. Actually, that's another thing that's so counterintuitive and it's so unorthodox for most mainstream people, especially Americans. It's like, no, I can only eat a certain amount of calories. I don't even think in calories. I don't even care what, what calories are in any given food. Do you even know what a calorie is? Most people don't even know what it is. Are calories universally comparable? 
is, is, a, is a four to 500 calorie meal from McDonald's the, the same as a four to 500 calorie meal that's cooked at home or, you know, like it doesn't carry over. None of it makes sense. You have to stop thinking in terms and in ways that have been dictated to us. You've got to stop listening to the American food system. You've got to stop listening to all the, I'm sorry, but all the so-called experts. Like don't think in calories. Remove calories from your brain. ER Shred never incorporates calories. We never think about them, we never talk about them, we never do nothing with them, they don't exist to us. Satiate with what the body wants, fuel with real food. The majority of food in this grocery store, everything on the inside aisles isn't food. It's not food. Everything on those inside aisles is not food. And these fruits and vegetables that you see here in the produce section, they're not normal fruits and vegetables that our ancestors would have found. These are all crossbred, all kinds of different things have been done to this food. You don't know where it's coming from. So all I'm trying to say is, what's your fuel source? And for me, I don't even buy my meat at these places because they don't have the quality that I demand, which is the utmost highest quality meats that I can get to satisfy my body. And Costco charges way less for the grass-fed, grass-finished butter than this place. This place, you probably pay $7 for one brick of grass-fed, grass-finished butter, and I go through half a brick myself per day, so figure that out, every day. So I gotta go buy it in bulk, but guys, satiate your body. Satiate your body, find that willpower. I mean, I'm telling you, eat a lot of the right things, and in the beginning, freaking stuff yourself full of the right things. Get a big old belly full of the right things. And guess what you're gonna find? As a result, you are able to turn away from all this shit that isn't food. You want that empowerment? I just told you how to do it. Yo, yo, later.